In this video, we will condense logarithms, and the first expression we will condense is 4 log base 2 of x plus 5 log base 2 of x plus 3 minus 2 log base 2 of y. To condense a logarithmic expression, it means to write a sum or a difference of two or more logarithms as a single logarithm. For this, we will use the following properties the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule. With the product rule, we write a sum of log base b of x and log base b of y as a single logarithm of the product of x and y. With the quotient rule, we write the difference of log base b of x and log base b of y as a single logarithm of the quotient x over y. And with the power rule, we write c times log base b of x as log base b of x to the power of c. So with this property, we take the coefficient of the logarithm and we write it as the exponent of x. So, when we start the process of condensing a logarithmic expression, first we need to use the power rule to write each coefficient as an exponent. In our example, 4 will become the exponent of x, 5 will become the exponent of x plus 3, and 2 will become the exponent of y. Then we will have log base 2 of x to the fourth power plus log base 2 of x plus 3 to the fifth power minus log base 2 of y to the second power. Now in the next step we will use the product and the quotient rules to rewrite this logarithmic expression as a single logarithm. So we will write log base 2 just once and now, because here we have a sum of two logarithms, then x to the fourth power and x plus 3 to the fifth power will be multiplied. However, because the last logarithm is subtracted, then this product will be divided by y to the second power. So then, under this logarithm we will start a fraction, and in the numerator we will multiply x to the fourth power and x plus 3 to the fifth power, then in the denominator we will write y to the second power. One easy method of understanding what expressions will be in the numerator and what expressions will be in the denominator is to look at the sign of each of the logarithms. If a logarithm has a positive sign in front, then the expression under the logarithm will be in the numerator. But if a logarithm has a negative sign in front, then the expression under the logarithm will be in the denominator. So here we have the logarithmic expression condensed, and now let's see one more example. In this expression, the fraction 1 over 3 is multiplied by log base 5 of 4x minus 7 log base 5 of x minus 2 log base 5 of 6x minus 1. So what do we do if we have a number that is multiplied by all these logarithms? We could start by distributing this number, or we can start by condensing the logarithms inside the brackets. Let's start by condensing these logarithms. In the first step we will find any numbers we have in front of logarithms and we will write them as exponents. So we will have 1 over 3, bracket log base 5 of 4x minus log base 5 of x to the 7th power minus log base 5 of 6x minus 1 to the 2nd power. So now 7 is the exponent of x and 2 is the exponent of 6x minus 1. In the next step, we will condense all three logarithms into one single logarithm. So we will have 1 over 3, bracket, and now let's write the logarithm just once. And because some of these logarithms have a negative sign in front, I know that I will need a fraction. 
And now, because the first logarithm has a positive sign in front, then 4x will be in the numerator. So we will write 4x. And now the next logarithm has a minus in front, therefore x to the seventh power will be in the denominator. So let's write x to the seventh power. And now we have one more logarithm that has a minus in front, therefore 6x minus 1 to the second power will also be in the denominator and will be multiplied by x to the seventh power. So in the denominator we will also write 6x minus 1 to the second power. Now let's simplify this expression by crossing an x from the numerator and then from the denominator. Then I will rewrite this expression one more time, that is 1 over 3 bracket log base 5 of 4 over x to the 6th power multiplied by 6x minus 1 to the second power. Now we still have this fraction in front of the logarithm and when we condense logarithms we need to write any coefficient as an exponent. So then if we write it as an exponent we will have log base 5 of 4 over x to the 6th power times 6x minus 1 to the 2nd power all to the 1 over 3. And because this exponent is a fraction, we can rewrite this expression in radical form. That will be log base 5 of the cube root of 4 over x to the 6th power times 6x minus 1 to the second power. And here we have the condensed expression. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.